um, they're always here for you, no matter what it is. It could be in your time of need, time of celebration. They're always there, always helping you, praying for you, even if you're not in the church, because they will always remember you. Well, I, I guess what I appreciate about them is that how much like they care for the kids, and like how much they want us to like. I guess be an example to the church and like how seriously they take us because like I guess nowadays adults kind of take us kids or teenagers seriously so what I appreciate them is that they actually like take in our opinions and take us seriously I appreciate and Pastor Richard's dedication to the church and that he tries to like get things across in a way where all of us will understand it and I do appreciate Pastor Lisa's commitment to us as a worship team and as a church as a whole I appreciate her serving through ways that I couldn't do, like singing and other stuff. And I appreciate Pastor Richard doing things that I couldn't do, like standing up there in front of a bunch of people and preaching the word about God. I appreciate that they're like, they're caring. <clears throat> and like, especially Pastor Lisa, like, she doesn't give up on, on the kids, especially when they're doing like plays in the uh, Power Kids. Like she, she would never give up on them. And especially Pastor Richard, like he's very like, he will like to like push it into people's heads to know about the word of God and like he won't give up on that. So like both of them in general, like they will never give up on anybody or an individual. So one thing that I appreciate most about Pastor Richard and Lisa would have to be just how much, how invested that they are in the church, I would say, and how invested they are in the people in the church. Because they're not only trying to grow the actual building of the church, like what they're doing in the youth room, which is amazing. Um, but they're also like invested in each person in the church and they really want to know all about them and their lives and they want to be able to help them through just everyday things so it's really great. One thing I appreciate about Pastor Richard and Lisa is just their faithfulness. Um, just you always know that they're going to be there. Um, you're just growing up and coming back here to victory they've always been just faithful they're always there for us and I appreciate that um, one thing i really appreciate about pastor richard and lisa is just um, their love for discipleship um, for me i have always looked up to godly men and women and to come to this church and just to, to have known that even when i visited and now to be under both of them i've just seen their love for discipling and, and, and making people be more christ-like um, I also appreciate just their life of prayer. Um, so many churches have lost um, that, that fire to pray, and ever since I have known them, prayer has just been the cry of their hearts. And, 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 and as God is moving the church more and more people are coming, they don't pray less, they pray more. And, and I just really appreciate um, that in both of them. One thing I, I appreciate about Pastor Richard is his humor. Um, I, like, I like that, especially in his sermons, when he uses his humor. It's like it grabs me in, so like I like to like you know I like to listen. So um, that's one thing. And um, something I like about um, Pastor Lisa is her um, her devoutness to anything she puts her, her hands to. Um, anything that she wants to do or someone tells her to do, she like wants to do it, and she she um, aims and grabs to do that. So. What I appreciate about them is when I walk in the doors of this church. And I see their faces, it just makes me happy because they're always there to welcome me and then they made me want to believe in God. They made me want to sing for God, pray for God, do everything for Him. And just knowing that they're there and they're always there to support me along the steps of my life, that will keep me warm during the cold days of winter. Well, you know what? I When I first came here about, it's been about two years in October, I came on a Pastor Appreciation Day. And, you know, I felt like very welcomed. I felt like I was part of the family. And, and it's been that way ever since. So, so when I look, listen to Pastor Richard's preaching, um, he kind of encourages you to grow spiritually. And it doesn't make you feel oppressed when he's um, teaching or preaching. And it makes you, you know, you feel like you're, uh, the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. So it kind of makes you um, examine your heart and 
and just um, either read the word more, pray more, and ask God to reveal things to you in a deeper way. So that's what I like about Pastor Richard. And Pastor Lisa, what I really appreciate about Pastor Lisa is, you know, when she's worshiping or she's singing or she's ministering in song, I mean, she's very passionate about it. So that encourages you to really enter in and, and um, you know, worship the Lord, you know, in a deeper way. So that's what I like about Pastor Lisa. So what I appreciate most about Pastors Richard and Lisa, I think, is um, just their integrity. Um, having been at this church for a number of years now and getting to see them firsthand over the years, how they've had to deal with a lot of highs and lows and a lot of challenges and growth and um, changing culture. Um, I can always trust that they are going to always rest on the Word of God and on their relationship with God, first and foremost. Um, and their heart for the church is consistent and stays the same. So I really appreciate that. I, I, I have a, a peace with that because you don't necessarily always get that in every church. People are fallible and human, and they're human, but I know that first and foremost, their, their heart is always for ministry and that they really maintain a high level of integrity and excellence. And so that gives me a peace and a confidence in me. The one thing I appreciate about Pastor Richard and Pastor Lisa is how they love us. They love the congregation. They love they actually love people. And I uh, really appreciate that about them. Inspiration. I would say that they're very caring people and very kind. Jim Pastor Lisa. Charisma. Very charismatic. Very energetic. So one word that I would use to describe Pastor Richard and Lisa would probably be impactful because I mean, no matter what they do, like they're always just trying to get the best out of every single person that they see. And no, even when they're not, when Pastor Richard's preaching or not, what they say is always has like meaning behind it and they're always trying to get you to be the best you can be so it really creates it they create an impact in each person's life that they talk to and preach to one word i would use to describe them is solid um there's just so many things around us in our world and in our families and just seems like a lot of things are crumbling and unstable and when i look at them i see just a solid couple and a solid um family one word I would use to describe them, um, it's hard thinking of one, but one that comes to my mind is just they're genuine, they're real. And um, it's hard to find that nowadays. Um, there's a lot of people who are just trying to be like other people and, and not walking in the way that they are. And, and both of them um, are just genuine. And for me, um, getting to be under Pastor Richard and just, he's a, he's a mentor and, and no matter what we do, he's just real. And for me, that's what I need to, to grow to be more like a servant of God. So, genuine. Well, Pastor Richard, he is really funny. And Pastor Lisa, she's really passionate. It's sort of like one word, but really a sentence. So, they're, as uh, pastors, they're funny. They have a great sense of humor but you can, you also respect them as a pastor. Sometimes it's hard to do, but they do it very well. So that's what I appreciate about them. Loving, they're very loving. Um, I guess I would say faithful, that they are faithful to their calling um, and faithful to, um, to keep going, to keep going on even when it's difficult. Um, they're faithful in all seasons. <laughs>